Okay, so for a little more than a year now, I've been looking at grip modules online, and the most popular two that I've come across are the Icarus Precision and the Mischief Machine. And it seems like both of those are really hard to come by. They're pretty pricey, and you got to be there at the right time to score one. And everybody, everybody has them, so I, I kind of like to be different. So I looked around, see what else was out there, and I stumbled across Sharps Brothers. They make a lot of parts for ARs and a lot of gun parts. Seems like a good company. They've been around for a while. And not too many people have this grip module. And again, just because everybody has Icarus and Mischief Machine doesn't mean that those are the best. They are nice. Don't get me wrong. I, I did want one. But I saw the Sharps Brother and I pretty much liked it. They were in stock. I caught a great deal from Midway USA. And we'll talk about that once we hop down on the bench. But I settled on the Sharps Brother lower a grip module for my p365xl we're gonna hop down on the bench we're gonna do a lower build on this i have more parts coming to do the upper part and finish it out in a part two so we're gonna hop down we're gonna go over this whole lower assembly and the sharps brother grip module all right so we got a bunch of parts laid out here for this lower build i want to do this in a two-part series guys because i really want to go over the sharps brothers grip module first and so we're just going to assemble the lower half of this. I do have my upper parts coming. I have a uh, red dot already. Um, I'm just waiting on my slide and barrel. It did ship. I should get that this week. So we'll get this all, we'll get it all finished out in a part two build. And then you'll see the whole gun in its entirety. But for right now, what we have for the lower is we got my holster. We got the firing control unit. We have our stock grip module, which we'll talk about that in a second to compare to the Sharps Brothers. And then we have our Streamlight TLR 7 sub. And I have a little package here from Streamlight, which we'll talk about that in a second. And then we have the Sharps Brothers grip module. So first thing first, I don't want to get too, too far out of whack here. Let's get everything out of the way. I want to go over the grip module first. Okay, before we even get into that, let's talk about the stock one. The stock one's fine. It's very thin, and this gun's pretty snappy for a little 9mm. I have a P938. I have no trouble shooting that because... I don't know, maybe it's because of the weight of that. So I did want to get it a little heavier, a little more grip. This is a very slender grip. Even though I have small hands, it's it's tough to get a good purchase on this thing. This thing wants to just jump away from you. So I was looking around, like I said, at different grip modules and stumbled across Sharps Brothers. So went with that, and I'm happy I did. And full disclosure, this gun was built out with the stock uh, slide for this P365XL. I've already shot it a ton with the red dot, the light on it, the whole bit fantastic now i just can't wait to get my upper half because i ordered a ported barrel and a ported slide to really mitigate that that muzzle rise so it's going to be really good when it's all said and done but let's take a look at the sharps brothers let's see what you get in the package first off this is this is the bronze the burnt bronze anodized with g10 uh, black grip panels on it all aluminum from 775 aircraft aluminum so open it up nice presentation from sharps brothers they get the module wrapped up nice Inside here you get, this is a T8 Torx bit. This is really nice. You're going to need this to put it together. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, what else do you get in the package? You get this. They make their own knives, Sharps Brothers. They got some really nice stuff over there. So they got a little pamphlet here on their knives. Got instructions on how to assemble the grip module. And then they throw in some stickers. And I'm a big fan of stickers, guys. But there's one of these stickers in here is my favorite. There's this sticker here. You got your Sharps Brothers sticker. And then this sticker is just the coolest one of them all. I'm a big fan of Westerns, guys. And this is uh, Clint Eastwood, Fistful of Dollars, for a few bullets more. 365 improved. That's a pretty awesome sticker. So nice packaging and presentation from Sharps Brothers. Let's get the grip module out, the star of the show here. Let's take this out. Put this back in the package. Get our box out of the way. We're going to go through this piece by piece, guys, and talk about it and get it built. So here it is. This is the grip module in the burnt bronze color. Fantastic. Comes with no, uh, you got no mag release. So I had to take a mag release out of one of my old grip modules. Not a problem. Easy to put these in. You just push this out. You put a little razor knife in there. You pop that and it comes right out. So very simple to do that. And the nice thing about this is it has a 1913 rail on here. So when you just buy a light with a 1913 rail, it slaps right on there. Nice undercut in the trigger guard. You got jimping up front here, which I won't use because I'm running a light on it. These G10 grips are very aggressive. You got nice jimping along the back strap. It's not overly done, but it's not underly done. It's just, it's just right. Same thing in the front. And then also here, if you see on the bottom, it's got a very generously wide 
magwell. It's got a flared magwell, so mag changes are super easy. This thing's a lot fatter than the stock grip, so take a look at it side by side. You can see the difference. So you're getting a lot more meat to grab onto, and you can see it there in the magwell. Just a big difference from the stock grip in general, how this feels. This also has a gas pedal on both sides, so if you're lefty or righty, it comes with a gas pedal. I thought these things were kind of a gimmick until I actually put this together and shot it. When you get your grip on here, this undercut is fantastic. You're getting a real high grip. You're getting a real good purchase under the beaver tail. And then when you come in with your support hand, that thumb goes right on that gas pedal to really hold that muzzle down. And this is just fantastic, guys. This gun feels fantastic in hand. This grip module makes this gun feel like a totally different gun. Just really, really nice. So very well done from Sharps Brothers. Can't say enough about this grip module. It's just night and day difference from the original one. The original one has a proprietary rail. That's why when I ordered the TLR7, I got it with the SIG uh, attachment on there. But now that I have a 1913, I could order the 7A. I could put whatever I want on there. But I do run the TLR7 sub on this on this particular firearm. I've already had it on there. And we're going to talk about that in a second because I reached out to Streamlight and they took care of me. But let's get our grip module out of the way here for a second. I bought a cheap holster off of Amazon. This thing was like 20 bucks. And now a lot of people say, you know, on their website, there's certain holster makers that make holsters for the gas pedal. You don't really need that, guys. I make holsters too myself, and I have all the equipment to do it. I hit this thing with the heat gun, and then I just put this in here until it slid in, and I have no problems getting this in and out of the holster now. So you really don't need to buy another holster. If you hit it with a heat gun, you'll be able to get it in and out of there. So this cheap holster from Amazon... I am going to be making another one, a different one. I'm going to be making a hybrid holster. But for now, this works fantastic. Once I hit it with the heat and got this thing in there, it was very minimal. Because this particular gas pedal, it doesn't stick out super far like some of the other ones do. It's, it's kind of minimal. So it wasn't really a big deal to heat this and get this to fit. All right, so let's talk about the TLR7 sub. I wanted a weapons light because they're just imperative to have on your firearm. And we'll talk about that in another video. But let's open this up. This already has been shot like i said guys i've already done a, a bunch of shooting with this on here all right so you get all the tools you need to take this thing apart and put your different switches on i already did a video on how i have this set up for a high and low switch so that's all in the package all well and good but this did come with the uh proprietary clamp on here for the for the stock sig so now when i got the sharps brothers grip this has a 1913 rail so what i did was is i called streamlight let's get this out of the way for a second i called them and said uh listen i'd like to buy parts this new clamp that has the 1913 rail because i want to be able to run it on a different gun they said nope what's your address we'll send it to you which was awesome i gave them my address within two days i had the stuff shipped out to me so streamlight sent me this package which i've already gone through this because obviously i already put it on there and what they sent me was, is they sent me an entire kit, guys. They gave me every key you could possibly want to fit any different variation of a 1913 rail. They gave me the new 1913 uh, clamp here. Two brand new sets of screws, the little clips, more springs. I mean, they went above and beyond. I can't say enough about Streamlight customer service. Fantastic. So now I was able to take this Streamlight and mount it on here because it has a 1913 rail so we're all set with that that's perfectly perfectly in line here it lines right up it clamps on you just push on that thing you, you line it up where you want it and then you'll tighten it down with the tool that they provide which i have over in the box all right so let's get the tlr7 out of the way first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to get our fire and control unit and drop this in now what's nice about this sharps brother grip module from the stock one the stock one just uses a roll pin it just has little indentations and it locks in this one, this is why they include the T8 Torx uh, tool with the grip module. This unscrews, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about it walking out. You're going to put some Loctite on it, and then you'll put it in. So you're just going to take your grip module, drop it in like you normally would. Sorry, guys, doing this stuff on camera is a little awkward sometimes. But drop your grip module in, throw a dab of Loctite on this, and then you put it in. And tighten this down with this T8. Once we get it through here. All right. I'm just going to tighten that down. And that's it. Now you have your uh, lowers in there. Your fire and control units in there. Nice. 
Very nice job from Sharps Brothers. Like I said, this is a screw and not a, uh, just a push friction pin. So once you hit this with Loctite and give it a little torque on it, that thing's not coming out. I shot a bunch of rounds with this and I didn't even have it Loctite and I checked it. It was still tight. So once I do my final assembly, I'll throw Loctite on there. Okay, now we're going to throw our TLR 7 sub on here. This is spring loaded, so just find where your key locks in, where you want it. And then you're going to push on this here. And it should be able to clamp right on just like that. It's right in position. And that key is going to keep it from moving anywhere. This uh, tool that they provide from Streamlight is contoured for this screw. I highly suggest using a tool that they give you, not a screwdriver. Because on the original one, I marred it all up. So now that they gave me new screws, I used the proper tool. It's contoured to match this screw perfectly. So just tighten this down. And that's not going to go nowhere. That thing's locked on there with that key. I like the 1913 better. And then there you go. I got the high and low switch on here. Again, I did a video on that, how I have it set up for me. So when I'm on the gas pedal side, I have the high switch, just easy to hit. And then on the uh, on my trigger side, drop down for that low switch, momentary or on, fits perfectly. So there's a Sharps Brother grip with the TLR7 with the 1913 rail. This is the lower assembly right now, what we got. Let's talk about pricing for this. This grip module is about 320 bucks, and they do sell different panels for this, guys. You can get any kind of panel you want. They sell a bunch of them. Hogue makes them. Um, you can get them right from Sharps Brothers. They have different, different configurations. I just like the black on this. I just want to keep it simple. But you can get different grip panels for this. So that was another feature I liked about this. Different grip panels. You could change it up. So this grip module is like 320 bucks. I caught it on sale and a discount on Midway USA. I got it for like 250 bucks. And then the TLR7 sub, this runs you about 130 bucks. So that's going to be your, your lower assembly pricing for this, at least for what I paid for it. So, you know, if you got to buy it for 300 and this for 130, you know, you're, you're talking, uh, what's that? Three, four, 430, 430 bucks plus tax for this lower. And then once we do the top end, I'll do a final tally on what this whole build cost. But just fantastic, guys. Uh, like I said, I've shot this already, and it's been great. This grip module is just a game changer for this. I really like this. I wanted a Nicarus Precision or that Mischief Machine, but they're just too hard to get and very, very pricey. And I really like the look of this one. They have three different color variations if you head over to their website and check them out. But I'm really glad I went with the Sharps Brothers. And then we'll bring our holster back in. This thing just fits right in there nice, see? No problems getting it in and out. Good lockup on it. Because like I said, I just heated it up. And now I'm able to get it in there, even with that gas pedal. I got good good retention on it. So I spent 20 bucks for a holster and modified it when everybody else is going to have to go out and, uh, you know, spend hundreds of dollars on a new holster, which I don't think is warranted. All right, so everything's been pretty fantastic on this with this whole lower build assembly. I like it, guys. Just just a great, great setup here with the Sharps Brother and the TLR7 sub. Can't wait to get the parts to finish the top end. All right, we're going to hop out, guys, for some final thoughts. All right, so that was a look at the Sharps Brother lower grip module and this part one to this build. If you guys like this kind of content and want to see more and want to help support the channel, I'm going to leave a QR code here on the screen to buy me a cup of coffee. If you guys don't want to do that, there's a free way to support the channel by hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one.